Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm on Poshmark Canada, Rainbow Poops, Poshmark USA, Rainbow Poops 1, Instagram, Rainbows After Midnight, and somewhere on eBay. So today is going to be just a follow-up. It's actually really, really early in the morning. I just put on some eyeliner so I look a little bit um, alive for you guys, but anyways, today, yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning and I'm just about to start work. So I wanted to get this in, just a little update. I was doing a little bit of research last night and I thought, hey, why don't we do an update video and maybe discuss some of this stuff because this is what people want to talk about. If you want to talk about it, let's talk about it. So this is regarding uh, the mystery boxes. Everyone now seems to know a little bit more about. And yeah, there's still lots of drama going on with all that stuff. But. I came across actually a couple things. So as of right now, I'm sure a lot of people know that you cannot buy the mystery boxes on their website. You can buy their higher end items on there. Um, you have to make an account. Unfortunately, you can't just like, I guess, view. I, I had to make an account. I don't know. So you can go on there, make an account, and then you click the shopping cart and I'll show you all the stuff you will not get in your box. All the high end stuff you will not receive because it's all... I guess auctioned um but oh we don't want to zoom up so much this is what I wanted to talk about because I read a comment yesterday and I was like oh my god that's actually what I commented because oh my god so we all know that these boxes are you know not the best boxes clearly they are a lot of low-end um, stuff and I've seen some comments saying, I don't know a lot about the Nordstrom because we don't really have a lot of those stores where I live. And the one near me is not very close to me. So I don't know a ton about these stores. But I do know that they have, you know, stuff. Oh, where did my rings go? I just realized I took my rings off. Uh-oh, I have to go back home. <laughs> I was like, that's weird. Random. Um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to go grab those. Anyways, let's uh, finish this thing up here. So, this is what I wanted to say. So yeah, we don't really have like Nordstrom um, near my house or anything, so I don't go there very often. But, this girl, oh my lordy lord, this girl made a comment, and she's a new reseller, which this is what I guess is the worst part of this. You're getting a lot of new resellers coming in. They'll watch a few like of her videos, see the boxes, and be like, you know what, that's an awesome idea. Like, let's do it. And then it goes all down the drain. So, based on this comment, so this is great for you guys that are in Canada, because I'm in Canada, and this might be very helpful because there's a lot of costs. She said she ordered three boxes. She ordered a woman, a men's, and a mystery box. She only got two so far, and they're both women's. Okay? But that's not what I'm talking about here. So, if she, I'm not sure how much the boxes each cost. I'm assuming at least $100 a box. So, let's just say they're $100 a box. That would be in U.S. So, roughly, probably about like $125. We're going on the low-end schedule here. Or schedule. Low-end scale here. So, let's just say $125 a box. So, that would be... 375 for three boxes okay let's say she spent about 375 for three boxes in those boxes i believe most of them were 25 items a box i mean that's not too bad but wait wait a minute Oop, there's bunnies fighting outside uh since we are in the canada and these boxes are coming from the united states and due to the sizes and the weight, we have, first of all, we have shipping. If anyone knows, if you guys ship stuff over, <laughs> bunnies are chasing each other. I'm just entertained. If you guys ship stuff over to Canada, or if you're in Canada and you're doing any kind of shipping, you know it's expensive over here. Our stuff is expensive. So, she said it costs her for shipping fees. $167 US, which equals $210 Canadian, $210 to ship. 
110. Wait! Wait! One other thing we have here. We have customs. People seem to forget that we have customs to pay for. If you're, especially if you're ordering stuff like that, there's going to be custom charges. So, she said for custom charges. I like seriously almost died in my bed when I listened to this. It was close to $250 US, which would equal $312 at the current rate right now, Canadian. So just for the import fees and the shipping fees, like over $500. Just. on boxes that are not good that you're never going to make your money back like she's probably going to be out hundreds of hundreds of dollars and a new reseller like how disappointing for someone that is just starting out in this kind of field in this kind of business and maybe watch some youtube videos and want it to support somebody and then just, I don't know. I couldn't go through with it. If I was to see those costs, I would exit out as fast as possible. But in the beginning, I'm sure people thought they were getting all the good stuff. They thought maybe there was a chance they were going to get, you know, some Prada boots or, I don't know, something else expensive. But instead, they get all the garbage. That, that's, yeah, that's disappointing. But I want to talk about that one because I saw that comment last night when I was scrolling through stuff and I was, yeah. Now we got a squirrel over here looking at me. Okay, okay. All the animals out at almost 7 a.m. But that's just what I wanted to say. I'm interested if you guys have bought, especially if you are in Canada. I'm very curious what you have paid total like all the fees and your import fees and all that if that's relatable i'm just very curious so yeah that's just a little update don't buy those boxes i don't think they're gonna have them anymore but if they do especially if you're in canada do not do it do not do it go to value village and spend 20 dollars an item it's probably better than buying the boxes is what it seems like so that's my update i'm going to start work now because I need to start work. So if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you later.